What is going on everyone? In this video, I wanna show you how to make these Khan Academy style tutorials with these digital blackboards where you can kind of draw and have your audience follow along. Now, one nice thing about this is that the software that you're going to need to make this happen is totally free, so you don't have to pay anything. Now, if you're interested in making these kinds of videos, stay tuned because I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it. How's it going everyone? So I wanna show you the steps that you need to go through to make these kind of videos. Um, so you're gonna need a couple pieces of software and they're all totally free. So the first one that you're gonna need is something called OBS Studio or OB Studio, depending on how you like to pronounce this. Uh, and what this thing is, is just basically a screen recording software. It's used by a lot of um, Twitch streamers and other YouTubers as well for a whole bunch of things, but you can use it specifically for YouTube videos and I've used it because it's free and pretty easy to use. Uh, so once you download this, uh, if you're on Windows, you obviously use the Windows one, Mac for Mac, Linux for Linux. Uh, once you download this, install it onto your computer. Um, this isn't a tutorial on how to use OBS, but I can just show you what it looks like while it's running. Uh, so I'm recording right now using OBS, and this is what the interface looks like. Uh, I know it kind of looks like a mirror of silliness right now, but that's just because I'm recording this screen and actually looking at this screen at the same time. Uh, but the bottom area is really where uh, it matters. So you just kind of click on start recording here in the settings section you specify a whole bunch of different options here and then you're basically off to the races. You set an output path and that's basically it. It'll record your screen. I've done a couple other fancy things like overlaid myself over here in the bottom right, but you absolutely don't need to do that for this type of video. So once you have this all installed and worked out, you probably want to go and watch a video on how to actually uh, use OBS. That's basically the first hurdle that you need to get through, kind of figure out a way to record your screen. Uh, so once you get this installed, the next step is to actually figure out how to draw things on your screen. Now, but before I move there, I just want to talk about some of the different alternative softwares. Um, there's some that are paid, like Camtasia, which is the one that actually Khan Academy uses. At least that was on their website um, from a posting a few years ago. I don't know if that's still the case. And if you already own Camtasia, it probably makes more sense to use that. But because uh, I'm on a budget here and maybe you are as well, I opted for OBS. And since it's free and it's got great support, I figured why not? Um, so yeah, this is OBS. So the next step, let me actually drag this to my other screen because I like to have it on the side just so I can see what you see in the recording uh, as I'm going along. Uh, so once you have OBS downloaded, then you know go and open it up, configure it, all that stuff. Uh, the second thing that you need to do is the actual drawing program. So download the drawing program. And so the one Khan Academy uses is something called Smooth Draw, and it's available at this website here, smoothdraw.com. And the specific version that he uses is Smooth Draw 3. Um, so you can just click on download here and this will download the executable to your machine. It'll install that software on there. And then once that's done, you can actually open it up. So Smooth Draw. And so there we go. So this is what Smooth Draw looks by default. Uh, it doesn't look like anything fancy, just basically a glorified paint program. But um, you don't really want to start with this. Like you can draw on here and be perfectly fine with all this stuff, but uh, I wouldn't suggest it. What I actually did was I found a template that worked really, really well that's very close to what Khan Academy um, kind of uses. So um, if you go to the file open here, I don't want to save my picture. Uh, so I have this smooth draw template and I'll actually make this file available to you. If you want to download this, I'll put this on uh, Dropbox or somewhere. Check the link in the description section below. But if you open this up, now we got this nice black screen. Um, and over here on the left, we have our pen size and our color dialog. So I preloaded this with some colors that I really like uh, and that go really well together. So blue, obviously, for the blue, purple for the purple, uh, yellow for the yellow, so on and so forth. Uh, you can over here on the left, increase your brush size. So if you want this to be a little bit thicker or thinner, that's up to you. I like it on around two or three is about right for me. Uh, ink flow, you can set this to a lot lower and you see it's kind of less flow coming through. I used to, I usually like to leave it at around 50% or so. That usually works pretty well. Um, so at this point, like this is a lot of what you need, but I kind of want to uh, give you another bunch of pro tips or kind of things that I've learned over the course of making these blackboard style, blackboard style videos that I think most people can get something out of. Um, so the first is the writing utensil. So when I'm using my mouse, you can see here, it's like, hello world. This looks 
terrible. Like you can get away with this um, and maybe for your first few video videos it's fine, but I actually have a tablet here and I'll show you in the webcam in a second here, but when I, I draw with my tablet, um, I have a, a lot more control over this, so it's a lot easier and you know, I'm, I'm not the greatest penman here, so this doesn't look as great as it could, but maybe if I try in like all caps or something, hello world. Hello world. It looks a little bit better there, but you know, if you're a good writer, you have good penmanship then obviously this will matter a lot more. I find that doing it with a mouse just, you know, looks terrible. It's really, really slow. It's not something that looks very professional for uh, videos that you may want to make. So uh, with that being said, the tablet that I use is called the Vike A15 and I actually have it open here on Amazon. I want to show you exactly what it is. Um, so this is the tablet that I own. Um, it's pretty big. I don't know if you can see here. Um, it's, I don't know, like a, a standard piece of paper's length and maybe I don't know, six inches deep. Uh, it's a pretty good size and allows me to write pretty easily without running off of the corners or without running out of space. So when I was initially researching this, I was like, well, you know, there's the, um, the Wacom bamboo tablets, which are like $150. And then I saw these and I'm like, oh, I don't know, this is like, it looks good. It's got pretty good ratings. It's a pretty, it's pretty much half the price. Um, so I figured, you know, might as well try this out, see how this works. And it ends up being a really, really good tablet. And I'm very, very happy with it. It comes with these uh, pens as well. And it's got these little plastic nib on the tip. Nibs are um, just these little plastic pieces that they run out eventually as you, you draw a lot on them. Uh, but the thing I like about these tablets is as you can see in the photo, it gives you like 15 or so extra of these nibs. Um, and I think they only give you a handful for the Wacom tablets and they cost like $5 a piece. It's an absolute ripoff. So that's what I really liked about this tablet. So far it's working super well. It works on Windows, works on Mac, works on, I believe Linux as well, but you should probably clarify that. Uh, and I'm really, really happy with it. Um, so you can buy this. I'll put a link in the description section below if you're interested. Um, but yeah, this is what I use to make all of my videos. So going a little bit further now, some more pro tips that I've learned. So when I'm recording, I don't actually record with the whole screen of the smooth draw taking up. Sorry, I should rephrase that. Now, when I record, I don't actually record with smooth draw taking up the entire screen uh, because, well, I have two monitors now, but I, I didn't before. And what I would often run into is I kind of wanted to have notes on the side, like over here off screen that I can read off of uh, that would help me out, maybe just like kind of reminder points or whatever. Uh, so what I ended up doing was if you take this uh, smooth draw program and just kind of resize it in a way where it takes up most of the screen, something like this. And then separately, I would open up something like Notepad. And over on the right, outside of the window, I would just like make my notes or my talking points over here. And you know, talking point one, talking point two, blah, 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 blah. And so while I was making the videos, I can very quickly glance to the right here and very easily see what my next talking points were. Now don't freak out because now your screen has all of this extra stuff on it uh, and that's totally fine. So what you can do in the post processing step after you record the video is just crop out everything here. So all of this stuff, all the top, uh, all the left bars, your bottom stuff, everything here except the black screen, you can crop that out in the post processing step. And if you're using something like Adobe Premiere, the way I usually do it is just kind of zoom in a little bit into my screen and then position it such that the the, um, black section is the only thing visible and I find that works really really well for me uh, so I've been doing this a lot for you know a few months now making a whole bunch of blackboard style videos I find that it's worked really really well especially with this uh, tablet that helps me out a lot a lot as you can tell um, so yeah this is my setup and this is the easiest way that I found after doing a whole bunch of research on how to make these style videos uh, I'll leave some links to everything that you need here including a link to smooth draw a link to OBS and a link to the tablet that I own so I hope you guys found this video useful I hope you make some awesome videos that you can share on YouTube and empower a whole bunch of people to learn whatever you're teaching them uh, and as always if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe I'll see you next time